Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be going through the entire collection, every single shade of the new magical glitter flips from Ciate. This has been buzzing around the internet. I got three of them sent to me and I tried them out and I was like, oh my God, are you joking me? So I went out and I got all the other colors so that I could sit down and do a swatch video for you guys where I actually try them on and show you the magic. These are kind of crazy. This is actually one of the craziest products I've ever had on my channel. And that's saying a lot because we recently did glow in the dark highlighter. <laughs> I test out and try all of the crazy items that I can possibly find or that you guys recommend to me to try. And this one just kind of seemed like from a known brand, a more sophisticated brand, like it's not like, oh, I found this random one product online. This is part of a large line. I definitely have pros and cons about this product. It's $19 a tube and there are colors that I prefer over others and I am going to guide you through each color and what I think works best and just kind of a little bit of my tips and tricks as well, I guess, because I had a few small issues. Even though this is glittery and fabulous and it's pretty and fun and it works and I actually think this is worth it if you are a person that loves makeup like me and you are just fascinated by something when it turns color or has like a magical element, you know, I do think this is cool, but I actually am gonna go ahead and say, I don't think you need to rush out and buy the whole collection and it's like the best liquid lip you've ever worn in your life. <laughs> really pretty packaging. I mean, do we see this like smooth glittery business right here? I love it when packaging is like that. You guys, if I had been thinking clearly, I would have done this as a first impression, but when I got this in the mail, I immediately started like playing with it, putting it on. I'm like, oh wow, that's so cool. And if only there had been a camera around because I was so blown away. But I am gonna show you just right now, like it's just so fun every single time. I really enjoyed showing this to James. I was like, look, I have matte lips. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, so what you do with this is you put it on, you wait two minutes. That's the part that you have to do. Do not put this on and start going mwah, 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 and do that and think that glitter is gonna happen. It won't happen that way, it just will look messy. I'm gonna take the shade Candy just to kind of coordinate with my uh, makeup today and my wardrobe. I don't wanna go too loud. I'm gonna keep things kind of quiet. And now we wait two minutes. So this is what the box looks like. They're all color coordinated to what color you're purchasing. It says apply, dry, press, and pop. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one. And the more you press them together, the more glittery it gets. So let's go through the colors. I will share with you my favorites and the ones that I had an issue with. So this pink one to start out with, this is really pretty. Um, it is a very silver glitter that's in here. And this one to me was very sticky and it's not as opaque as some of the others. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that if you are a neutral lover, mm, this is not the best collection because the neutral ones in this collection do not show as much of a ooh, Wow, magic as the deeper colors. So this one is called Candy and it's so-so to me. It's not bad, I just don't love, love it. Then we have Infamous. Now this is the kind of color I would normally wear just in a matte liquid lip. It's really, really pretty, easy to apply. You know, these are very opaque and you only wanna use one even coat. You don't wanna glop on a ton. And that's actually the issue I had with some of them is they're a little patchy. And if you do put more on, you're gonna press your lips together even if you've waited a long time for them to dry, like even five minutes, and it will actually peel a little part of the pigment off and you'll have kind of a little bit of a patchy situation where there's a bald spot. You can kind of get away with that a little bit with lighter lip colors, but on the darker ones, it definitely shows up. All right, so from there, this one is Hollywood, it just reminds me of ruby red slippers. I am so drawn to this. I love this color. It is beautiful and it is very opaque. 
This one I had a tiny bit of a hard time kind of smoothing out. It was a thicker kind of a formula than the rest in my opinion, just like not thicker, but more whipped where you had to kind of work it around. So this was kind of tough to work with, but the color itself is very flattering and fun. And this is one of my favorites because I can see that this would actually be very usable and wearable if you want a glitter red lip. You can kind of pair it with so much, whether you're going for a party look or you just kind of want to make a statement and you're wearing jeans and a white blouse, you could do that too. So this is really pretty. Um, from there, we have the shade Forbidden, which is more of a deep berry kind of purple undertone situation. Little bit patchy. This one does the bald spot thing a tiny bit and feels a little bit sticky over time if you are constantly pursing your lips together, which that's the thing with this product. You want to show everyone. You're like, look, I'll reactivate it and you kind of look like an idiot. My point is after a while, it starts to kind of crack off. So, you know, you only have so many shots of uh, glitter with this stuff, like halfway through the day, it does not look so good anymore. The shade Fortune is pretty. They're all pretty. This one is very glittery, um, not my favorite. We're next up is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, I love this. This is so, so pretty. This is like the best of the collection in my opinion, not necessarily the most wearable. I just don't see myself wearing this on a daily basis. Like I would be more inclined to wear the red, but this is so cool. Like if you are looking to completely impress people, this is the color because it glides on. You really can use that very thin coat, which I feel makes this product work best. And it's so rich in color and it just, has a different consistency and it's so opaque and dark and then it just looks like nothing and you put your lips together and it's just like, whoa, oh my God, what did she do? Like, it's just literally, you will confuse people in the best way with your glitter lips. All right, then we have the color that stained my mouth to no end. Oh, I don't like this because actually I looked sick after I wore this. I like took it off and nothing like oil, balm, nothing would get this off. And um, I don't know if you can see, I just filmed swatches right before filming this. And I mean, I had to like uh, scrub this off. So these are all really difficult to get off by the way, that is um, maybe a drawback. You definitely want to use an oil or something of that nature to remove this product. Normally that's a great thing, but in this case, because of the glitter and the consistency about halfway through the day, it does get a little bit sticky and patchy and the removal process, it's not like you're going to be in the office and you can like take it off and reapply. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? So this one also is just, it just stains your mouth a really weird color, but it is very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. Now I did try to activate these with my fingertips, like on my arm. Like I was like, oh, I can do a close up and like press it and stuff. It doesn't really work out that way. It seems to only want to work when it's activated with your lips pressed together. I don't really know the science behind it. I would love to know. I'm very curious why this works and how it works because it's magic. There we have it, seven shades that they came out with. This is such a cool product. I don't wanna say that it's a bad one, even though there are some flaws with the formula, and I don't think that you're gonna be collecting colors because this is your new favorite liquid lip. I think maybe buy one that you wanna try out, have fun, have fun with your friends, show them it, and you know, it is pretty for a few hours, but it definitely is not, in my opinion, something that you wanna wear from morning until night because it does kind of wear off a little bit unevenly. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this full rundown on a collection of lip products. Let me know what should we do next for Hot or Not. We have a lot of collections launching. We're approaching fall. I started seeing things for holiday and I'm like, oh, we're there, like we're, we're almost in like full makeup go time. So let me know what you guys are most excited about. Leave that in the comments below. I love you so much and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.